The sun is aging, just like the rest of us. Someday, it will exhaust the hydrogen fuel at its core. Five or six billion years from now, the zone of hydrogen fusion will slowly migrate outward, an expanding shell of thermonuclear reactions, until the temperatures are less than about 10 million degrees. It will go from being a yellow dwarf to a red giant. Its gravitational hold on Venus and Earth will diminish allowing them to migrate to a safer distance for a little while. This red giant sun, ruddy and bloated, will envelop and devour the planet Mercury. The grace of the habitable zone will be moving outward farther and faster. By now, the intense light and heat of the sun's expansion will reach all the way out to the Jupiter system. Its clouds of ammonia and water will escape and be lost to space as vapor. And for the first time, the more dowdy hidden layers down beneath Jupiter's gaudy upper atmosphere will be exposed. Could we make a home on one of Jupiter's frozen moons? The thick layers of ice encasing Europa and Callisto will defrost, exposing the liquid oceans beneath to harsh sunlight thousands of times stronger than before. This will liberate large amounts of water vapor, starting a runaway greenhouse effect. Ganymede's once thin atmosphere will become steamy and dense. If life was swimming in those oceans all along, here's a new chance to flourish and evolve. Then Ganymede will belong to those beings. It's just as well, because we'll want our next home to be at a safer distance from the sun. <laughs>